all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video we will be discussing the second problem of the bi-weekly contest find three consecutive integers that sum to a given number okay so yeah this problem is totally related to the maths like we need to uh, write down some equations and find out a valid uh, solution to that equation right so without wasting our time let's begin given an integer num return three consecutive integers as a sorted array that sum to this uh, value that would be given to us okay so the point that you should notice is like uh, integers must be consecutive okay and we need to return a sorted array uh, like if there is also the possibility that you're not going to have some valid three consecutive integers so in that case uh, what you are going to do is uh, you are going to return an empty array so that would be your answer okay so let's take an example and understand how this is going to happen okay so let's say we have uh, the target as 33 so if you take 10 11 and 12 as your sorted array you can see the sum is actually the coming about 33 so this is a valid array so how would you find out any general uh, sorted array of three consecutive integers that would uh, be your correct answer whose sum is exactly equal to the target so let's write down a general uh, sequence of natural numbers which is actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it goes on like that okay so yeah you need to have the sum as target and any three consecutive integers is going to be chosen above among these natural numbers so for an instance let's suppose we have chosen this one let's call the this position as n n minus 1 n minus 2 and here it goes n minus 3 now if we choose this number this set of three consecutive integers so what is the sum up to 4 uh, like sum of three, these 3 4 5 6 it can be written in terms of prefix sum as sum up to 1 to 6 minus sum up to 1 to 3 okay so if you will write down from sum up to 1 to 6 like all the integers from 1 to 6 and every integer is uh, like the adjacent difference is uh, exactly 1 absolute value of adjacent difference then you can see this sum is actually n into n plus 1 upon 2 and this sum is actually n minus 3 to n minus 2 upon 2 where n is here 6 here n is 6 ok so I am writing down in general so if you simplify this term you will get uh, like uh, n square plus n minus n square minus 5n plus 6 and this whole is going to be divided by 2 if you will simplify further you will get 3 times of n minus 1 this is what you are going to get now this value must be equal to the target right so if you will do some more calculation you will get 1 plus target by 3 so this is your uh, answer that is the general answer so your pairs three consecutive pairs would be n minus 2 n minus 1 and n okay so the only thing that should be uh, tricky over here that uh, the target that is the sum that would be given to us must be a multiple of 3 okay then only you are going to get the answer okay so let's begin coding it out Okay, so if num is 0, let's write down the base case minus 1, 0, 1. Otherwise, if num, that is the remainder that we are going to get after divisible by divisibility by 3. If it is positive, strictly positive, we need to return an empty array because we are not going to have any three consecutive integers that would give us the target value. Otherwise, find the n which is 1 plus num by 3 since num is divisible by 3 and the three integers are n minus 2 n minus 1 and n because you can see n is actually the extreme value over here okay of the three consecutive integers 
so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video